in the West, in the 1800s, poker was the name of the game. People would play it anytime, anywhere. Aboard ships. On their lunch break. Even women enjoyed the game. Even the well, maybe not. Right now, it's time to put your game on hold because it's time to read a newspaper together. Today's issue is August 4th, 1883. And remember, the photos and video clips in my videos are just to enhance the actual words from the newspaper. They may or may not be the actual people, objects, place, or even the same time period mentioned in the articles. An infusion from a shrub called tempa, used by the Indians in Nevada and Utah as a stimulant, is said to resemble Chinese tea in taste, and miners use it as a blood purifier. The strike of the telegraph operators still continues. The operators stand firm in their demand for an increase of wages, and the Western Union Company shows no sign of yielding. The Carson Footprints Professor Harkness has recently discovered a series of footprints near the Carson prison, which are even better defined than those in the prison yard. They are covered by a stratum of earth only a foot deep, which can be easily removed. Professor Harkness claims that their new discovery establishes beyond doubt that the impressions of which have caused so much discussion were made by the sandaled foot of a man as they do not present the least suggestion of a claw mark. The new district will be thoroughly explored, and with that purpose in view, Dr. Harkness is endeavoring to get possession of the land. Lakin Slivery Stable, formerly owned by S.M. Titus. Having placed this stable in first-class order with good horses and the best of carriages, I respectfully solicit the patronage of the public. Horses bordered at reasonable rates. Competent and obliging hostlers are always ready to serve the public. Camping outfits for families for mountain trips furnished on short notice and at reasonable rates. Stable, corner of Ninth and Relamet Streets, D.R. Lakin. Furniture and undertaking, Cherry and Day. Wholesale and retail dealers and manufacturers of all kinds of furniture and undertaker's goods. Prompt attention given to all orders. First class hearse free. Store on 8th Street, Eugene, Oregon. The Boston Transcript says, Speaking of a swell dinner where the ladies were dressed extremely decolette, somebody remarked that on the table, were all the delicacies of the season. 
Yes, said Fog, all sorts of indelicacies around it. An agile tourist spent half a day climbing up the face of a precipice in California in order to paint his name high on the rock in huge letters. Then he was informed by the owner of the property that he might repeat the feat to scrape off the disfiguring letters or stand a lawsuit. He could hire nobody to do the job, and so he made the ascent, but with far less vim than at first. Alcock's porous plasters cure where other plasters fail to relieve. Take no other or you will be disappointed. I have been using Alcock's porous plasters for a number of years and always with marked benefit. I have been troubled with muscular rheumatism, have been treated by five of our best physicians without receiving any relief whatever. I then used Alcock's plaster on parts affected and I can assure you that the pain has almost entirely left me. I can recommend them to everyone as the best plaster made. A German has invented a safe which, on its locks being tampered with, throws open its doors, seizes and drags and locks in the burglar, and handcuffs and holds him in readiness to be conducted to the police court in the morning. Borrowed wit. This soup waiter is cold. Can't you bring me some warm soup? Why, Sa, you must be mistaken, Sa. That soup was so hot that it took all the skin off my thumb when I fetched it in, Sa. The stranger concludes that he will forego the soup and take a walk. Papa. What? Jimmy, you smoke? And what do you smoke, pray? Jimmy, I smoke kebabs. Papa, and why do you smoke them? Jimmy, oh, they are good for a bad cold. Papa, how often do you have a bad cold? Jimmy, oh, whenever you give me 10 cents.